Okay, my name is Rodrigo Colasos. I'm originally from Cali, Colombia. Uh, when I'm thinking of my uh, career vision, uh, it's actually lately I've been thinking of doing a second master's. I um, think that the MBA has given me a great background in all the aspects of a business, of how to run a business, how to manage people, and how to motivate and influence in order to get what I want out of them. But I've been looking towards doing a second master's in a more, in a more specialized field like human resources. Uh, this is an area that I currently like a lot. I've always had an interest in it. You know, I think they can greatly impact the uh, profits that an organization, my, uh, that an organization can achieve. Not only that, but uh, I think one of the most valuable aspects of any business is its employees. And this is why I'm actually thinking of doing a second master's as soon as I finish this one in um, human resources. Um, I find myself to be a very uh, balanced individual. I'm always taking myself out of the picture in order to look at the big wide objective of what we're we trying to attain. Um, I'm very good at talking with people. I also never take sides. I always like to hear everybody's point of view and then kind of abstract what I like the most from each individual in order to make a better package. Uh, those are some of the best qualities that I have. Not only that, but uh, I'm also a big time planner. So I enjoy designing how things should be run or how things should be implemented or developed. And that's uh, my current career vision. It's definitely heading towards the field in human resources. So uh, that's my first step towards getting into that position. Like a department head of human resources is to finish my second master's in human resources. As far as capabilities that are going to make me successful in that position, like I said, I'm a people's person. I'm a planner. I'm an organizer. And... Uh, those are one of the things that are very relevant in managing people, especially in uh, the segment of human resources. As far as deficiencies, uh, I would say some of my, my biggest deficiencies is that sometimes it takes me a while to um, speak up. You know, I tend to uh, evaluate things a little bit too much sometimes and I end that sometimes I miss the opportunity to really um, act when I needed to be, just because I tend to uh, plan or be very methodical about the things that I do. Uh, my values, I'm a very ethical person, which is, I think, one of the biggest aspects of human resources. You have to have ethics. Well, actually, in any career path, you have to be ethical. That's one of the most important things. I, uh, I try to be a... I try to be as honest as I can with myself and everybody else. I have a very solid work ethic. You know, if things need to be done, that's just the way that it is. So if I have to stay late, that's just the way it has to be. Uh, that's kind of uh, if I didn't have a good work ethic, I don't think I could work a full-time job and do a master's, <laughs> and think of doing a second master's. Most of the valuable concepts that I gained from uh, this class uh, actually have been from understanding how to motivate people or what motivates people or how to handle them. So, uh, you know, how to like really uh, overcome resistance when you're trying to uh, present change in an organization. Those were very key ideas or just 